I want to know where was Chef Peter when I was in school? Those are some amazing ideas. But now we're turning our attention to I Heart My Hood and the Mabonang Precinct in Joburg is one of the coolest and trendiest spots. And it's no surprise that fashion model Sean McCollett call it his home. Now we caught up with a young man to find out where he spends his downtime when he's not walking the runway or in front of the camera. Hey guys, my name is Sean McCullough and I'm a fashion model all the way from Cape Town. Now today I'm going to be showing you around my hood, Mabonang aka Arts and Made. Now this place resonated with me so much because it reminded me of Observatory back home in Cape Town. Now I'm not going to be showing you around my hood while walking, we're going to be doing it on a bike. Let's grab a bike and let's get a taste of Mabonang. The Mabonang Precinct is a neighborhood celebrated through creativity and easily accessible bicycle hire adds a bit of fun when navigating its exciting streets. So guys, we're here at Such Store in Mabonang and I love, love this store so much because when I started modeling, a lot of people didn't want to book me for Fashion Week. Up until this young man who owns the brand Touch asked me to not only work for him, but to close his show. So let's go in and play dress up. Because the Mabonang Precinct attracts young creatives as well as Joburg's movers and shakers, it's become a hotspot for fledgling fashion brands. In fact, the fashion scene in Mabonang evolved so quickly that in October of 2017, the Precinct had its very first dedicated fashion week for smaller brands and designers with a showcase of street fashion. Nothing makes a man feel more powerful than a perfectly tailored suit. Now I've got an end of year function for my agency Ice Models and I feel like this is the perfect outfit to rock. And I think I'm gonna get a lot more bookings next year if I keep impressing my bookers like this. Whether you're a resident of the precinct or just visiting, Maboneng also has a great way to socialize and exercise at the same time with its social cycling clubs and events. Thankfully, there's a wonderful array of eateries where you can refuel after a ride. So guys, after all that shopping and riding this bike all over Mabonang, I'm feeling a bit hungry. So let's go to one of my favorite places here. It's called Little Addis Cafe and they serve strictly Ethiopian food. Let's go and feed the stomach. All right, what I love about this place, guys, is the fact that last year I moved to London for six months for Fashion Week and uh, I was craving some good old bub and flesh, but I couldn't find any restaurants that served South African cuisine. And the only best thing that I could find was an Ethiopian restaurant. So I ate this for a good six months. So when I came back home, I just kept the tradition going. So I come here for about once every month just to enjoy some good old Ethiopian cuisine. You guys cannot watch me finish this. I'm doing a topless shoot on Monday and my agent is not going to be happy. So. <laughs> so after a long day of riding the bicycle around Mabonang, going to Little Addis Cafe to have some food and shopping at Touch of Ling, I wanna go and watch some independent movies at the bicycle here in Mabonang. So it's been great hanging out with you guys. Cheers.